where the Academy is, and these are our five favorite things at the moment, right now. Yeah, we'll start with Mad Max Fury Road. And I can agree with this one. Yeah, best movie of the year. Uh, Tom Hardy's in it, he's awesome. Uh, pretty much everything about it's awesome. It's a high octane thriller, <laughs> and uh, I saw it three times in theaters, about maybe eight times at home. Yeah, I got it as soon as it came out as well. I also saw it in the, the, the theaters. It's a movie that I actually went alone and was like stoked, so, you know. Um, one of my other favorite things being that it's the season, tis the season, uh, scarves. I love scarves. So I've just been like really scarfing it up lately. I found a really nice scarf in the back of a cab in Japan a couple weeks ago. It's really nice, but I'm afraid to like Start wearing it until it's like it's like someone it. else's soul is on it. It could be it. like <laughs> SARS or something like that. You know, it's kind of it's a nice scarf though. You can have it if you want. Yeah. Well, the scarf kind of ties into something else I'm really into is wrestling, pro wrestling, and like I don't have many friends that are into it, so I can't really ever talk about it with anybody. So that's depressing. Wrestling. Yeah, but I love it. I love it a lot. So that's another thing that I'm into. I'm gonna go with the Chicago Cubs, <clears throat> greatest team in baseball. 108 years of losing, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, things are about to turn around. Some big off-season pickups, and uh, yeah, they're gonna play some ball next season. And they're youngins too, so yeah. this is like dynasty mode. You know, it's it's gonna be good for Chicago. Um, another thing I've been into lately, and I know that, that you're really into documentaries too, but I'm really into documentaries. Um, I almost prefer watching documentaries, even when I haven't even heard of, to um, you know a film that I know I love. But um, there's a documentary, like pretty much all the HBO ones are really great. The one I saw recently is Going Clear, about Scientology. I thought that was really, really interesting and well done. You've got a lot of ones that you like too, right? Oh yeah, documentaries, tons of them. Yeah. Uh, there's one called Brothers Keeper that I thought was incredible. <clears throat> uh, Capturing the Freedmen's is maybe one of my my favorites, uh, kind of dark stuff. But, yeah, uh, yeah, good stuff though. But you know, it, I think it's it's it can be you know a good thing to to glimpse that side of humanity, um, just to know where you don't want to be. You yeah. know, yeah, those are good. Uh, I'm gonna go with Chicago style pizza. Some people say it's not pizza; it's a casserole. It's more like lasagna. I say you're a fool and eat it up, and if not, then... Give it to him. Yeah. And He'll take it. Get bent as well. <laughs> Game of Thrones, um, I've read the, 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 uh, the Song of Ice and Fire series um, twice through so far, and the new one's coming, supposed to be coming out, uh, the new book is supposed to be coming out um, in the spring, but like we'll see how that works with George R. R. Martin. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of a geek for... Game of Thrones, and looking forward to uh, the rest of the show as well. But the books, whenever they do end up coming out, I'm going to be all over that too. And I'm going to go with Oscar Isaac, <clears throat> great actor, kind of up and coming right now. Babes love him. He's getting a lot of good movies. Men love him too. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, he's going to be in Star Wars. We're going to go see it tonight. He's also going to be in the next X-Men movie, so it seems like things are going well for him. I say he's a guy to watch. Yeah. Yeah, he's really great. Yeah. Ex Machina was an awesome movie. Incredible. Yeah. He's in that. I think, like, Adam and I are just really into movies overall. Like, like we're really, really into movies. And I think that just being on the road so much also, um, in two different ways. On the road, you know, you, you do have some downtime on drives and stuff like that where you watch movies or you go to your bunk and you watch something. But I think it's when you're off the road is when, well, for me, I can't speak for you, but I'm just assuming because, like, when I'm on the road, it's like, go, 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 go. You're in big cities. There's a million people around all the time. You don't have any time for yourself or to just chill, really. So when I'm home, I just like to, like, stay in, enjoy the house that I pay for that I never see, and watch movies and catch up on stuff. Yeah. You know? Um, I'm gonna go with Fender guitars. Uh, I exclusively play Fender basses, and uh, I think they're the best out there. 
and uh, Gibson is nowhere near as good as Fender. Get us these things for Christmas. Santa or yeah. whomever. Yeah. Mom and Dad, if you're watching. Mommy. I'll, I'll pretend like I don't know. And my mom did used to fake, like do the jingle bells and like the boot prints outside of our door to make us like really believe in Santa. And my sister believed way too long.